I've been homeless for one year. Eight years, for two years now. I really don't call this homeless because it's my home. You know what I'm saying? I've been on the streets for like 20 years. I had got locked up in the county jail. Because my mother passed. I got out of the county jail, I didn't have nowhere to go, so they told me about the shelters downtown. So I went to the shelters downtown, but you can only stay there for 90 days. After my house burnt down, I moved back from Colorado, and I was on drugs for a little while, and I went to rehab. I got off drugs, and then, you know, after my mom died, I just tried to, I've been struggling, trying to find a job, can't find a job, you know. I've been working odd jobs here and there, but it don't pay no bills or nothing, so I just eat and sleep outside. Drugs has something to do with it, but it's not the major problem. Alcohol is the main reason why people out here. Drugs, you know, the, if people get a little money, every money they get is going on the drug, how are they gonna ever get a place to live? Marijuana, crack, alcohol. Crack cocaine and beer. So I'm staying in an abandoned building. Down in the Hart Plaza. I live in abandoned, abandoned Brewsters up, of the row houses. Talk to you too. I have a mattress with the box spring yeah. on crates. Everything I own, I carry with me. It's just this. And my Bible I got in my pocket. They sleep at the sewer to keep heat. The steam that comes up out the sewer, they sleep right there to keep heated. They right there, there's about three or four guys right now. Sleep on the streets, on, on the sidewalk. Well, my day begins where I get up in the morning and I leave the shelter at 6 o'clock. I go out and try to find temporary jobs, but I try to make sure I get a few dollars in my pocket so in case I need to eat because I might miss the shelter if I do get a job. We get up in the morning, we need a, we need a shelter. 6 o'clock in the morning, we walk down the street. We uh, go from Burger King to the library. You know, those are the places that we can frequent. Most places don't have public bathroom for us to use. but. You know, sometimes we urinate or whatever, defecate on the streets, but we do what we do. You can't eat. You have to get out, take a shower, go to uh, shelters and things like that to take a shower. You know, uh, they have monks right down the way there, and that's where I go take my showers at. Other than that, I'm just on the streets and I'm living. The hardest thing is being able to get the city to try to help them. The city needs to help the, the homeless because the simple fact is, if they don't help the homeless, it creates another problem for the city of Detroit. It puts people out on the street to the point where they might do anything to try to get food, shelter, or whatever. Me, I make money mostly like working for the people at the parking lots. Every Tiger game, Red Wing game, the white people come from the suburbs, give you money, feed you. If you guys help the homies, it'd be highly appreciated. I was homeless in California, met Ice Cube, and he, I was in an Ice Cube video called Check Yourself Before You Wreck Yourself. I played a gangster at first in jail. Then at the end of the video, I played Twan. Used to be the Don Juan, now your name is Swan. That's a gay guy character, you know? Try to make their day life as comfortable as we can. It's not fair, life is not fair. We never said it was, God never said it was. I like to read my Bible because I know there is a God and I know that he is gonna bring me up out of this and I got faith in him. People, People look at me, they look down on me. But you know what? It don't stop me from living or moving or, or progressing. Why? It's because I have no problem with being who I am and doing what I do. It was the best thing that happened to me in case I get a big job, lose my job, I ain't gonna jump off the bridge and commit suicide. Most of the people from the suburb, they lose their job, they gonna commit suicide because they can't handle the streets. I need a hug every once in a while to be me, to be loved. Thank you, sir. God bless. Okay.